Game of Thrones original pilot. We filmed it in Morocco. Uh, those of you who followed the show may know there was, a, there was another pilot before the pilot that you saw. There were several recastings and we reshot. So in the original pilot, uh, Khal Drogo was, was still uh, was being played by uh, Jason Momoa, uh, but the part of Daenerys Targaryen was being played by Tamsin Merchant, a very talented young uh, British, British actress. And uh, we, had, we had, were filming the scene in the Moroccan desert of, uh, of Danny and Drogo's wedding. And of course, uh, Drogo uh, gives Danny, at the, at the climax of that wedding, Drogo gives Danny a, a silver horse. Uh, which she just calls her silver, a beautiful, beautiful horse. And she mounts the horse, I'm going in the book here, she mounts the horse, <clears throat> and you know, we've, we've been in, in the book we've been in her head, and we know how frightened she is and how much she doesn't really want to be part of this wedding, and et cetera, et cetera. And she mounts the horse and she sort of rides away, and there's, the, you know, and there's a big fire in the middle of the camp here where they're, where they're a huge fire pit, and we think for a moment that, uh, my God, is she, is she trying to run away from her wedding? Is she, is she fleeing? And there's some suspense, but she actually rides the horse out. She proves that she can ride, and then she turns the horse around and comes galloping back through the camp, and faster and faster, and then her horse leaps over the fire pit, uh, leaps over the fire, and, um, and this endears her to Drogo. He admires her courage, and you know, although she's not an experienced rider, that in fact she was willing to to try this uh, this this fire leap, and he, you know, it's it, it it wins her a lot of status of the thing. So it's it's sort of a semi important kind of moment there. And we were we were going to include this in the original pilot, and we got we got one of the best stunt riders in Europe, and flew her down to Morocco to uh, to double for uh, Tamsin in the scene, and we, we had this, uh, the silver, the, the filly that she's given, a uh, beautiful silver white horse uh, that was uh, supposedly a, a stunt horse, and you know we had the stunt rider with her silver wig mounted on a horse and riding, and no way that that horse was jumping over that fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> they, they tried for half the night, and uh, the horse would come approaching the fire and would veer right, would veer left, would just jerk to a stop, you know. And then we've, they finally said, okay, we can't, the horse is not gonna jump the fire, so we'll put the fire out and the horse will jump over the burned logs, and uh, then we will put in the fire with CGI later. Um, no, the horse knew, there, there used to be a fire there. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a dumb horse, so that horse wasn't, wasn't gonna jump the logs either, so we had to lose the whole, most of the sequence, you know, and, and uh, which is one of the things that happens when you're, when you're filming, you, you run into these practical challenges. Um, and then what happens later in, in the books is uh, Drogo and Danny ride out to, uh, to consummate their marriage. And you have the, the wedding night uh, consummation scene, uh, which is quite different in the final Game of Thrones uh, as aired than yeah. it is in the, in the book. Um, the original pilot followed the, the, the book much more closely. So, uh, you know, you, you just have, you have Danny and Drogo riding out and they find this little secluded spot where there's a stream and, uh, you know, Drogo doesn't speak any English so they're talking to each other. Um, and, and she says, no, the only words you know, and they undress and, you know, there's a, there's a sex scene. Um, which was pretty sexy and, and uh, fairly romantic. We're filming this at night in the, in the Moroccan desert. It's 120 during the day and like 30 at night. Uh, so uh, I don't know how our actors did it, but Tamsin and, and Jason are you know, naked there and they're, they're filming the scene. Of course, it's, it's only them, them and their two horses that are tied to the trees. Uh, of course, behind the camera, there are 120 people with, uh, you know, clapboards and lights and sound equipment and all that and, and doing that. And those of us back by the trucks watching it on the video cameras here. And so I'm sitting there watching them as they do this uh, fairly hot uh, sex scene. And um, one of the people starts laughing and 
then other people start laughing and say, what's going on there? So we go over to the video cameras to see what they're laughing at. And what became apparent is that, is that the Danny's horse, the, the beautiful silver filly, was not, in fact, a filly. <laughs> <laughs> and seemed to be getting turned on by the, uh, <laughs> by the sex scene being acted out in, <laughs> in front of him because we were seeing this enormous silver schlong that was, <laughs> that was appearing on camera. So <laughs> maybe that's why they decided to change it all. You'll notice in the final version that we filmed with, uh, with Amelia Clark, there are no horses anywhere. <laughs> We just got rid of the horses entirely, male horses. So, so the, the sex of horses is a problematical issue, both for me and for Rose and for the filming. Uh, I know something that was very popular and people wanted to get a uh, categoric statement from you on this, because a lot of people think that HBO gayed up the whole Renly and Loras relationship and that old people were saying, oh, they're not gay in the books, that's absolute rubbish. <laughs> Uh, no, those people are wrong. Uh, they are um, they are lovers in the book. I hesitate to use the word gay because it's actually a, a modern word. Oh yeah, uh, that was only applied to uh, you know to homosexual relationships. I think in the late '60s, early '70s was when it, it acquired that that meaning. Um, but uh, yeah, Loris and Renly were always intended to be. Uh, to be involved with each other romantically and sexually and to be lovers. And there are numerous places where that is indicated in, in, the, uh, in the books. It is indicated subtly, since neither of them is a, is a viewpoint character. Um, but it's, it's there. You know, I, I actually like subtlety. Uh, you know, one of the things that the HBO, I mean, television by its very nature is less subtle. Um, you know, they, there's a certain, you don't want the audience to be confused. You, you don't want to leave too much ambiguity, but uh, prose is a different thing. And as a novelist, I, I like subtlety. I like ambiguity. I like leaving things that my readers need to figure out. And some of them will find it, and some of them maybe won't find it. And then they'll be discussing it with each other. And I'll say, did you notice this thing? And the other guy, oh my god, I didn't notice that. But now that you say it, yes, of course that's true. I think that's one of the pleasures of, of reading and discussing the books that you've read with other people. Um, but television is, is different, so.